I'm Jerry. Welcome to my garage. This is episode one of an 18 foot boat build. I've built several of these boats. I'm going to keep the whole process simple so you can build one too. So subscribe and follow along. It's going to be fun. A lot of boat to build so let's get going. First thing I'm going to do is set up a bench to rip these sheets. When working with this plywood, I want to use any natural bend that plywood has in it to my advantage. So first thing I want to do is check out, sight down the plywood. And I'm going to use the way it bends to be curving around the boat. We don't want to be fighting the wood. And some wood may be straight and some may not, so just want to take all those factors in. Alright, I got my straight edge in place. I have, I'm doing this 4x8 sheet, I'm doing a scarf along this whole floor, right, 4 foot edge right here. Um, this is the tool I'm using. This Milwaukee 10 inch circular saw. I just have this dedicated for scoffs. This is a West System scoffing jig that bolts to the bottom of this saw base, and that's pretty much all I use this saw for. It's big, heavy, makes a lot of dust. And there's a bunch of other ways you can do this without using this tool. You can use a hand plane. You can use a power planer. Well, you don't even have to scoff the ju You could just uh, butt the two sheets up together and put a block behind them, glue and screw that. And that's good. I've done that plenty of times too. But uh, we're going to make some dust right now. To make a scarf joint in this application, I'm cutting tapered angled cuts on both ends of the sheets to glue them together with thickened epoxy. of 3 8 9 mil on top of each other. I'm going to cut both. I'm going to rip them the lengthwise so that I'm going to get four 2 by 8 foot pieces apply. So I'm going to mark the center. Come over 24. 24. Right in the middle of those. Same thing down here. Okay, 
and I'm going to use this straight edge to rip it. If you had a table saw or a track saw, it would be great. But this is a homemade track saw. I'm going to clamp this in place and run my circular saw on top of this. Next thing to do now is put some scarfs on the ends of these sheets so I can join them together and get 18 feet. Right now this is only going to get 16, a little less. So I have to cut about 32 inches off of another sheet and join that to make 18 feet total length of this sheet of plywood. I'm going to glue them all up and make each side of the boat. And then put the jig together and then wrap these around the jig. So this is what I get going on right now. This factory edge, I'm keeping that as the gunnel of the boat. So when that goes up, it'll be like this. And I'm using the natural curve, as I said earlier, in the plywood to work with me. Uh, this piece has the most amount of curve out of the two that I have set aside for this. And so I'll use that up forward towards the bow where that has the most amount of curve. So I mark that out. Put marks everywhere. I'm going to keep two as a set. And now I have to figure out, I'm joining these together so I get a determine which way I want the scarfs to be tapered at. Sometimes you see the scarf may need a little touch up, sometimes it's a little uneven. I'm just going to take a block plane, maybe some sandpaper, see if I can take a little edge off it. different layers of plywood give you a good guide to go by to see if it's even. That's like all it needed right there. I'm just going to sand this up just a little bit.
sometimes these scarves don't come out perfect but you can always make them work you can always shorten them and cut them again it doesn't really matter because the final sheet that makes up the bow I did not cut that to length yet I want to make sure we have no mistakes sure I can get 18 feet, which I have plenty of stock to do. And here I have the two sheets on top of each other. I'll show you the scarf joint here. So that's what that joint looks like. That joint is about three and a half inches long. fill that with thickened epoxy. Now I need to cut one more piece of wood for the sides and to get that length I'm gonna lay these sheets out that I cut and uh, measure what I need. That's the square end, that's the transom down there. Gonna mark 18 feet. I need a piece 32 inches long with a 45 degree angle going back. All right, this is the third sheet I need for the sides. I already have my scarf across the four foot with, I'm going to measure 32 inches. I'm going to put a square across that. This is a rough cut. Later I'll be laying both sides on top of each other and giving them a final cut. These are my two last bow pieces. In episode two, we're going to get the sides glued up, cut the bow stem and the transom.